So we got struck by lightning and we've lost our Serbo GX and touch control uh, screen. And so the only way to now control the Multi Plus um, charging and inverter is to use the Mark III USB dongle from Victron um, and that app uh, on our iMac. So once we've connected the Cat5 cable to the dongle and then the dongle uh, to USB into the Mac, uh, we then open up the application and we can see that we've got our battery settings put in and uh, our mode control uh, which we can have on, off, charger only and inverter only. Uh, we just leave ours on whilst we're connected to the dock um, and we'll have a few other settings that we can change uh, to give ourselves some solar priority so we're not constantly feeding from the dock. Uh, our max uh, amperage that we can handle is 16 amps um, the dock can handle 32 here um, but our boat is only wired for 16 amps. Um, we have general settings which uh, include our battery capacity um, so letting the MultiPlus know when our battery should be full um, and the grid capacities um, allowing us to know what's too low a voltage and what's too high a voltage um, what we need the inverter to be capable of doing and when it needs to shut down and here we have the power assist function um, so what that means is that if our demand inside the boat is more than uh, 2.4 kilowatts we have the ability to then to add our battery power to the shore power um, giving us about five and a half kilowatts of capacity so we can run things like the washing machine and the oven and the hob at the same time or have the air conditioning on as well as the oven and the hob things like that where normally we would manage those loads manually by only having the oven on or the hob on at any one time um, we've got charger function so this tells shore power when to connect and what type of batteries we've got um, and how to charge so we charge up at, to a maximum of 28 volts and we float at 27 volts on our lithium bank um, and then we have an AC input connection um, control so we've got this selected on at the moment whilst we're connected to shore power um, and we can base that off of several uh, options so we've got a load condition so when the AC input connected exceeds uh, just over 2,100 watts, the shore power will connect. So normally we are just feeding off of our batteries and solar. So the shore power will connect when it exceeds this load um, of 2,109 watts um, and it will take over directly from the shore. So it will then ignore battery um, and the inverter charger will just be a pass through um, and then it disconnects again once it has reached below 900 watts so for a, uh, it will also connect then again uh, if the battery percentage is below 50% you can see we're at 58% charge at the moment um, and or if the battery voltage drops below 25.5 volts. So it will connect to the shore power and top up the batteries um, and just making sure that we don't deplete the batteries too low um, or burn them out with too high usage. And we've got the advanced panel and this is where we can prioritize the solar over other sources and it brings up this option here 
um, and then what that does when we click on that it gives asks us to charge to 100% to complete a full battery charge after that charging process is complete the system will return to normal operation prioritizing the renewed renewable energy sources um, which in our case is solar um, we've already done that so we're we're constantly sitting playing paying out of our battery these are sort of our standing loads at the moment on our um, AC side well we hope that helps you uh, understand uh, how to use the dongle for the Victron uh, MultiPlus a little bit more and how you can prioritize your solar inputs and your wind inputs uh, perhaps over the grid um, to help you save a bit of money um, potentially uh, while connected up uh, if you like this video give us a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks